Possibly, it, it seems like the time for them to address it is now. We're halfway through the festival. We've got two spots left in the week three weekly final. Let's see who can put rubber to road and make it happen as we head over to the perspacious presentation of Porosaurus and Pansy. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> I have a pretty good vocab, and he's just breaking out words I've never heard of. But something I do what know do about mean? is Miramar. I don't even know what that means. Horror, we have a new team joining us, but <laughs> we, we only have one team making it through this lobby. You're loving that. I, I love that it makes you happy. That, that's the main oh, thing. God, it's it, cute. It, it's very it cute. gives me the giggles. I love it. I love it. And you know what? I, I love seeing uh, a new team into this lobby every single time. It makes things really interesting. It makes them fun. But what I would really love to see here is uh, look we're down to two games left if infantry or sonics don't find a way to win one of these games they are going to be just uh, it's it's going to be heartbreaking because look infantry just i'm looking at my stats right now obviously you know they've had a bunch more games but 52 kills on miramar for infantry the next closest yeah. is 4 a.m with 28 i mean infantry has just been dominant on this map, but they cannot seem to, to find a win. Oh, that is heartbreaking. When you when you bring out the numbers, man. Well, Meta can count their blessings on that one because that was almost an absolute tear from Long and Petrichor there. And Savior, where are you going, buddy? Oh no, you're running right into 4 a.m. Zenyan will be there as well. It looks like Zenyan is going to commit to this, and the whole of K7 is going to commit to this. Well, it's only two players at this point, but Zenyan gets taken down to about 26 HP. Booyah, who's gone down 4 a.m., cleaning this up quickly. LG Divine, are they coming here as well? Oh, Zenyan's no. already found crazy. Meta? Zenyan's done the best he can, but by now I'm looking at LG Divine about to crash the same compound. 4am down to 2, lose all alone, he's going to be taken out by, it looks like Turtle, and Forever now is just feeling swarmed. They dealt with the first wave, the second a little too much, and yes, Levi starts getting knocked by, you know, by any means, it, it's going to be kind of kept together by LG Divine. I mean, these guys worked in well, they've taken the compound, they saw the weakness, third party in that fight was the perfect way to approach that. Absolutely not. Look at GEX. They have so much real estate from the center all the way to the north, all the way to the east. They have a lot of territory that they can play around from. And now Buriram TSM are looking fantastic. As you said, Damwon already going to hop in the vehicles, already spotted out their next movement. Song Zhang is going to get picked out. We'll see if they can make. Oh, no, that car is on fire. Time to evacuate, oh time to get out of there. Ooh, they are lucky to be alive. But now TSM have so much more vision on them, and it's going to be a clean oh, no. pickup for TSM. And down one after that brilliant scouting work, forced to move almost instantaneously. It looks like DA are about to do the similar thing. Let's see how their run goes. Of course, it did not go well for the previous team. Most of these teams will lose life doing this. It is one way in and not many ways out here. We saw this fight between FaZe and Team Liquid not long ago on that hillside. Keep in mind, this is a dangerous area. Mert's done for. Metralis and Smash continuing forward. If they make it towards this hillside, there could be some safety, maybe more than before, but it ain't much still. And God Meow trying to make that work, but he can't overpeak. TSM going to keep him away, and it looks like EA have found a place to pull up. Ooh, they just barely. I mean, there was only two of them left, and now Sonic's meta had made the push early, and they find themselves in the middle of their in between Sonic's and the safe zone. Shrimzy will find the first knock here. Wicked will get taken down and stolen away. Infantry trying to do the same thing once again, and these sends are just not working for anybody, I guess, except DA and Bolyang. I'm not sure what you were trying to do. Throw it in reverse, maybe try to get to that rock, but Charlie is not going to let that happen. As they pray protectorate very, very well. DXG, meanwhile, on foot, or, well, they got a couple of vehicles. They're playing from the southern side on the top of that hill. Should be able to find a little bit of room to work with as well, but there's still a number of teams, Pansy, that have not made that move just yet and i don't know where they're gonna get them. oh my eyes go instantly towards sonics now the team is pressuring them are being kind of pressured themselves by the likes of tsm sparking does find Trimsy, so i'm not sure if they're able to get him back up here sparking's a problem he's a very dangerous player to have at the foot of your hill but h win will remove him but they've lost out on two here now the res looking unlikely they might be operating with merely two tickleton and h win are the only ones alive and they do have vehicles so they can try and find a way into this new circle they have to wave goodbye to their buddies and just move forward. 
going to take backside there, trying to make his way out. And, oh my gosh, Metralius is just being an absolute gatekeeper right now. Tig gets picked out of the vehicle by Vard. H win now the last player up for Sonics. He is getting slowly pushed here now. The believer is about to get pushed. Okay. H win is just going to try and keep his head down as best he can. Triple A are very aware of his position. Um, LG Divine took that spot away from DA, so they're in a good spot now. TSM can stay where they currently reside. Um, MCG, good spot as well. GEX have been not necessarily quiet, but they've just, you know, considering how good that positioning that they have is, they're keeping their heads down. Maybe slowly trying to just let everyone else take chunks out of each other and then arrive a little later. Buram can still play their position. DXG getting ready for their turn to full send. Where do they head towards? You wouldn't go towards TSM here. No, they're going to take a mad dash towards the right side. H-Win's going to probably be sweating here as so many teams are on the way. It looks like E36 are in the vehicles too. They've found a place to pull up. That's a free smoke coming out. No problems there. They're going to maybe even get a rare Satu's in danger. And oh, DXG go past. They actually go past this. H-Win has maybe found enough to be able to kill, cause a problem for E36. They can't continue towards him, so he stays safe for now. Yeah, that's a good smoke while he lined up for himself to get him back over towards the rest of the boys but he is going to play as he said that that flanking role and petrichor i think might have read this as vard going and rejoining the rest of the boys as they try to push into this a good smoke wall set up for themselves as well so this is going to be rough stuff for tsm oh mill that was ambitious look the big man the wookie himself Happy to greet people at the door, no problem. Just take the shoes off, put them to the side, and you're welcome in. But at this point, Petrocore Road now are considering their options. Okay, well, that avenue that we just tried, not looking so likely. MCG, though, still keeping people present and humbled on that side as well. Going to make sure no one gets easy access. Vard's now in a bit of danger here. Feral to his side, he's prone down, he's surrounded. Iroh's called to attention to help our Wookiee. This is where the threat starts to mount here. TSM need to deal with this and deal with it well. But actually, Buram lending a hand from further afield. Yeah, and that's looks like Burry Ram trying to take a few shots to see if they can clean that out. And it would be lovely for them if they could finish off TSM and uh, whatever is left of Petrichor, because that would then open up that south side for them to play because they've got to find somewhere to move in. Petrichor goes down. That is going to do it for them. And now GEX deciding to finally push onto MCG here. And they are coming out the victors so far in tank, slowly bleeding out. Evil E might be going for that res, but look at the grenades. They are fantastic, but it's not quite taking them down yet. Oh my word, they are so close to just wiping these boys out. Now, TSM are back to four. Wookie Bookie did get knocked, but a great couple of trades for Iro keep TSM living in this. They've kept their vehicles safe too, but look, we've seen that send has been the disaster of many. Buram doing about the same thing too, so I wonder if they're going to meet on the battlefield. But as we can see, the battlefield already listed with bodies and more nades finding placement. Summer this time to play catch in all the wrong ways. Well, this is where I want to know. I want to know where Burry Rum's going to go. I think they just play the edge down there. But while well, this fight's still playing out, oh, no, Leo doesn't finish it. Ling Du will take him out. Neil T will finish off Ling Du, though, from range. Is DXG staying involved? Triple A, DXG, Sonics, and E36 on one side. And then you've got Buram, TSM, LG Divine, and GEX on the other. Burry Rum might be having a little PTSD about this position as well this is where they lost the 3v1 for a win against lg divine's turtle one of the one of the original first big plays from pgis now we're right back in that position now gex trying to push down onto lg divine but they're immediately going to lose two to a combination of lgd and burry rom as burry rom is just raining shots on everybody go godvi or god -Gow. TSM should push this. They really should push this. They're trying to. Iroh's got too much attention. He needs some help here. Where's the rest of his squad? Where are the other three players? How is he getting three players pushing him a little on his own? Sure, but the rest need to fold into this. Move quickly on the low ground, and they're doing just that. Miraku finds Kanaxi, but they need to find more. Quick of a turn, and there it is. Bard might be able to save him, and he looks like he has done. A quick res might get them back on their feet. But does LG Divine now push, or are they too busy with the other fight going on? No, they want to make the most of this. They see that TSM are weakened. Turtle with an aid to hand. This could be the death of TSM. Vard back on his feet. He's joined by Wookie Bookie here, but Vard goes down. It's just Wookie now. Oh, but Wookie does well. 
staying alive and he needs to do more. Turtle now considering it, but where's GX and all of this? Levi's is dealing with them. Two fights, two fronts. LG Divine spreading himself thin, but managing just about to stay alive. Ooh. They clean that up, but TSM, what a game they had. 13 kills. And it looks like LG Divine should be able to get these reses off. Levi's has the big, important job of making sure that G uh, GEX doesn't push on him. I don't think he realizes how close that Yan Lee is. GEX is just cycling, rotating these reses right now. So they are just getting picked from multiple angles. The new circle does pop, and you can see where it's pulling. Triple A is going to have to find somewhere to go. All these teams that were hanging out in the field also going to have to reposition. Our solo player, H win, I think he's okay for the time being, but this fight between LG Divine and Gex feels like it might be a fight for the win here. Well, it looks like LG Divine won that win pretty bad already, kind of cleaning house over the side. One left alive, oh and God. Levi's making it look easy in all the right ways. And now Triple A trying to make their move. They've got DHG behind, but a quick turn. The 180 say goodnight, Neil T. We are down to our final four, and we've got some big names in this. Triple A with four players alive. LG Divine with four. E36 now down to one stand, and H-Win finally shows his hand as he had to. But he's trying to lay low, keep a quiet profile, force the fight elsewhere, but now he's garnered maybe too much attention. And he looks like he's in all kinds of trouble. The nades now start coming in. H-Win might have shown his hand a little too early. He does lose on life. So we are now down to two. A 4v4 ending. Ooh, couldn't really ask for more. I mean, I feel like LG Divine has the best position right now. Triple A, though. Oh, what is... Oh, they're just running in the middle of the open. Turtle is picking them apart. What a shot. He finds the head with that mini 14. And now LG Divine, 16 kills. Can they get 20? Can they get the win? This would be absolutely huge for this squad. Ready in the vehicles. Janku looking for an opportunity and oh. he's merely finding bullets. A brave pull up, but it's a split. It's gonna keep the attention focused in two fronts. On a, just kind of disallowing LG Divine to get the rap they'd won. But look at the strain he's under, the stress he's facing. From Levi's there. Great work instantaneously. It looks like they're gonna push this. JN finds another LG Diviner in fine form. Just JS alive now. And I've gotta say it, LG Divine looking formidable right now. Nades come out, they're pushing this. They were never gonna wait for Triple A to make their move. No, it's all theirs. Great win from LG Divine. I pray my day get big as the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours, goddamn